So one thing that we haven't done, uh, we've done a couple of videos that are instructional. We haven't really talked about the shop, like how it came about and what we're trying to do in the shop. The goal of the shop really is to essentially present the coffee like wine. It sounds ridiculous, sounds a little pretentious, but what we're really trying to do is buy coffee in season. So coffee is grown in this sort of equatorial band around the world and it doesn't all come to market at the same time. So what we try and do is we buy in season coffee and then we roast it in a way that expresses what we think is the best of its terroir, its origin, its processing at origin. And it doesn't mean that there's one way to roast to get that expression, but for us, to get that expression right is to roast on the lighter side, or maybe, I don't know, some popular terms are like Scandinavian coffee, sushi coffee, New England roast coffee. But the goal is, is to find the right expression of the coffee such that it's developed enough, so it's not tasting green or grassy, but not so developed that it's too smoky, too roasty, too toasty. We're roasting not to create, let's say, a Hershey bar. So we've all probably had a Hershey bar, but they get cacao from all over the world, different times, but a Hershey bar essentially tastes the same. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually probably a, a, a modern engineering marvel to have a chocolate bar be consistent throughout the year. But we're really looking to highlight the variability in the coffee, more like a, a single estate chocolate bar might be. That's kind of our starting point. So that's why we don't blend the coffee. Um, that's why we don't have a lot of additives to put in the coffee. That's why we don't have a lot of syrups or creams or sugars. Not to be arrogant, but hopefully the goal is, and, and we may not do it right all the time, but the goal is, is for you to experience coffee in a way or in a manner that maybe you haven't experienced it up to this point. So instead of reflexively reaching for something like, I need some sugar, I need some cream, I need some caramel syrup, you are sort of face to face with that coffee. And you get to experience it and say, wow, this is kind of special. It's not burnt, it's not charred, it's, it's good, it doesn't need anything. And not to belabor this point, although it's probably too late, there's a farmer or a, you know, male, female, a family. It could be a small land holding farmer, you know, three acres. It could be a big commercial farm. But those farmers are making choices. And so, again, we believe the roasting philosophy we've embraced up to this date respects those choices, or at least helps those choices follow through to the cup when you're in the shop.